Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an upstate New York criminal defense attorney. Today I want to talk to you about whether you even want an alternative to incarceration. I know it's a crazy thing, but sometimes short-term pain versus long-term pain. That's the way you have to sometimes think about things because sometimes judges and sometimes prosecutors say, listen, I'd be willing to offer this. I'd be willing to offer a short-term in jail, whether it's 30 days or 60 days or 90 days instead of years of probation, monitoring, and supervision. And for some people, that's a good option. And I'm going to give you some of the reasons. Number one, generally speaking, misdemeanor probation, if you're placed on it in New York State, it is not going to transfer to another state. There are exemptions to that rule. But as a general rule, if you're placed on misdemeanor probation, you're basically are stuck in New York State. So say you got this great job offer in a year or you want to go to school someplace in a year or whatever, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're stuck in New York State. So you're stuck within moving around New York State with misdemeanor probation. So that's one reason that you might want the short term of jail. Second reason is, do you wanna be closely monitored and supervised for years? Misdemeanor probation is two to three years. Jail on, with a felony case, it's five, up to five years of probation. So would you rather have a short term in jail and not have that close monitoring and supervision? And for some people, for some people, that is the better choice. I just had a case uh, where he was offered a month in jail, which would have been about 21 days because it's two thirds time. Remember, good time in New York is two thirds time. 21 days in jail. And he decided that he wanted to pick three years of probation, supervision, and monitoring. That is a lot of probation, supervision, and monitoring. That means is that you have a probation officer that's going to be monitoring your blood, your urine, your come over your house. I mean, you lose your rights when you're on probation. So having a short term of incarceration maybe isn't the worst thing. Now, there are some people, they don't want to spend one day in jail. Forget it. That is not an option for them. I totally get that. But you have to really think about, is this something that I want? Because if it's an option that you're willing to explore, then sometimes jail is a better choice than having long-term supervision and monitoring. If you have a question about your DWI or other criminal defense matter in upstate New York, you either give us a call, shoot us an email, be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video.